Hello everyone, this is Kweku Ifa from Enix and welcome to this channel. This is one episode out of a number of uh, videos we'll be doing covering the exciting world of microcontroller electronics, hardware programming and robotics. And um, we are doing this uh, series of videos because a number of uh, our customers and our clients and I mean uh, people that we know reach out to us and ask um, Kweku, I want to start learning robotics. Where do I start from? I have interest. I want to start making things and then I, I, I have no idea where to start from. So if this is a thought that has been uh, bouncing in your head for some time now, I think this is where you get all that solved. So in this particular video, we're going to introduce you to the concept of microcontroller programming in electronics. And this is where your journey begins if you want to be doing robotics in a few weeks time. Robotics in itself is an interdisciplinary field. Uh, that is to say, there are many disciplines that uh, find themselves in robotics. Robotics is like a big umbrella. You have um, electrical engineering in there, you have mechanical engineering in there, you have computer engineering in there. Uh, you could even have um, biomedical engineering in there. Um, various, various fields, physics, mathematics, a whole lot, the list goes on. So if you want to be able to do robotics in a few weeks time, that looks uh, troubling. Am I saying you should go and learn all these fields before you learn robotics? No. Um, usually when maybe a team assembles to build a robot people will come with different different expertise so depending on where your, your particular interest lies uh, for example myself i have an electrical engineering background so if i should be if i should join a team that is going to be building a robot i'm most likely going to be interested in doing the the electronics bits and and all that uh, however it is also not bad to try and learn um, to try and have like multiple skills which are relevant in the field of robotics so for example you should be able to learn how to build simple circuits you should be able to learn how to program very simple um, hardware tasks and you should also be able to know how to maybe do a bit of mechanical engineering stuff like designing um, a, a model of a car and then building the electronics into it and then programming it. That's kind of cycle. So uh, in this series, we're going to try and attempt to do many of these things, starting with the electronics aspect, that is the programming of electronics, building of the electronic circuit and programming them. That is what this uh, particular series is going to be addressing, yeah. Okay, so someone was building this robot here sometime and it's unfinished, but I'll be using it for my explanations. And it's a four wheel drive robot car he's trying to build. And if I say four wheel drive, it means that all the four wheels are responsible for moving the robot around. Um, but wh wh what, is a, what is a robot? A robot is any form of machine uh, that can be programmed to perform a specific task. So, um, yeah, when we say a robot, a robot is not only the ones you see maybe in the movies, like a human being, uh, those are called humanoids. They are just one example of a robot, but a robot could be any form of machine that you can program, exactly. So this right here qualifies to be called a robot. So uh, just like a human being, you have a brain, you have some sensors and you have some uh, actuators. Actuators meaning that things that um, uh, cause motion in your body, things that act in your body. So you are human being, you have a brain, you have, uh, you have sensors. At least my class five science teacher taught me that I have uh, five sensors. And uh, let's verify that quickly. I have an ear for hearing. I have a nose for smelling. I have a, what do I have? My skin is for feeling. Um, what else? My eyes is for seeing. What am I missing? 
I think my ear, right? My ear for hearing. That makes it uh, five sensors in all. So whenever you want to build a robot to such components come in. So robotics is more like the artificial version of the natural things we have around. Yeah. So the robot has to be able to think for itself. If, if not think for itself, at least if I want to program the robot, then it has to have a brain to understand what I want it to do. So the main thing about every robot uh, is its brain. And then it comes, we come to the sensors and then the actuators. For this particular robot here, I can't see any sensors. As I said, it's, it's an incomplete project. So I don't see any sensors at all. However, I can see some actuators and I can see a brain. The main brain is this particular board right here. Let me bring it here for you to see. I just hope you can see. Great. The main brain for this robot uh, being built is this board right on top here. And as I said, there is no sensors here at all. So um, what we have here are actuators. And for this particular robot, its actuators are motors, okay? So if you look carefully in the middle, there are some four motors in the position that are the four vantage points and wheels have been attached to all these motors, okay? So the brain and just actuators on this particular robot. Sensors are not featured in this robot here. Yeah. In the artificial world or in the world of robotics, uh, you won't frequently hear the word brain, brain, brain. You're most likely going to be hearing microprocessor or microcontroller. Okay, so this this is actually what, uh, this is a copy of what was on the robot I showed you currently or recently, um, just a few seconds ago. Uh, it's called an Arduino Uno. It's a microcontroller, and as I said, microcontroller is the word you'll be hearing, not brain, or microprocessor is what you'll be hearing, not brain. Brain, let's reserve that for human beings, but um, microprocessor, micro, micro um, controller, those are the typical words you'll be hearing. What is a microcontroller? A microcontroller is a, it's a computer on a very small chip. A microcontroller is a computer on a very small chip so um, it is this computer that we program and embed in all types of robotics projects and and I mean there are so many types of uh, microcontrollers or microprocessors you see and for beginners or uh, for a start I think one of the best microcontrollers that you should learn about is the Arduino because, uh, I mean, there are tons of resources about this, millions of resources just about this one. And it's very easy to also use. And there's a lot of community built around the Arduino. So it's very easy to get help. I mean, if you are trying to do a project and you get stuck somewhere, it's very easy to get help. So. This is the microcontroller I recommend that you start learning how to program if you want to start doing microcontroller electronics and programming leading into robotics. All right, so perhaps you want to find out where you can get such a microcontroller. Getting the microcontroller alone won't be so helpful. So what you need is a, is a starter kit. So a kit that contains this one and other basic 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 electronics component sensors actuators and like some essential things that you need to start learning um, about programming of microcontrollers and then robotics right so what you need is a starter kit and we i have here an example of a starter kit mm -hmm. This is a starter kit. Uh, it's a kit that contains this particular board I just talked about. And it also contains 
many other electronics components that you need to start learning about um, about microcontroller electronics and all that so if you want to get started with robotics this is where to get started from so as you can see this is the microcontroller i just showed us and it, and it has a whole lot of electronics component in this course we are going to be using this particular kit we will be taking the components one after the other and then we'll try and then learn how to program them how to reach from the sensors and the whole lot is going to be fun so if you have such a kit by your side already that's perfect if you don't have one at by your side already you can also visit the anix store and you can get some very quality and affordable and i'll put a link in the description so that you can uh, hit on it if you don't have one by your side already all right so let's move deeper i think okay so i'll be summarizing somewhere around here and i am actually talking about so many basic things because i am targeting people who literally have no idea about these things and want to uh, get started with it if you happen to be watching this particular episode and you already have some idea about these things already then you could either forward through or you move to one of the uh, later episodes that talk about things that you really want to learn so um, I, I want to rush them through so that anyone gets lost but if you happen to um, know about some of these things already then you can i mean skip ahead and then uh, catch up with us in the next episodes it's going to be fun stay tuned okay this brings us to the end uh, i hope this video has been very insightful to you and if it has i would uh, ask that you subscribe to the channel like the video share to someone that you think needs this particular video in order to get started with the world of robotics so just to recap um, i introduced you to the arduino microcontroller and, and i recommended to you to get yourself an arduino starter kit you can get the arduino starter kit from the anix store you can just order anywhere in ghana and then it will be delivered to you and once you receive an arduino starter kit come back to this series and let's do something great here in ghana thank you <laughs> see you